Don't forget the ads feed the ducks and the ducks we're raising this year we're donating to local food banks. If you want to help out the duck adventure, the link below, 50 ducks on a hot tub. You can buy one of these t-shirts. You can donate monthly. You can make one-time donation. And the most important thing you can do is like the video and don't forget to share it, guys. Listen to them. They hear me. Um, unfortunately, I can't let them out. But hello, everybody, and welcome to the duck adventure for October 27th. And uh, you've probably noticed there's been a big delay, uh, or not, big, there's a big mat, uh, um, uh, a big space between the videos because uh, I've been a mess, honestly, since uh, Thursday night, honestly, I'll be honest with you guys, I've been absolutely a, an emotional basket case. I, um, I couldn't even edit. I was trying to edit and uh, watching the duck videos, uh, it was, I broke down, I couldn't even control my emotions. It was uh, the one, actually, one hell of a ride. Uh, I, um, it sucked big time. Listen to this. I know that. Um, there was a bunch of things happening here Friday. There was like about 30 ducks and geese were at the lake. They they took off on Thursday night when we did the sort. And I, I didn't video anything because I was like I said, guys, I have been an absolute mess. This year was worse than last year. Absolutely brutal, actually. Um, I think it was because it happened so fast and that the ducks just left. Uh, that uh, that rattled me the most because you know last year it happened over a, a one week period you know and it was, it was plus I got to control it uh, which it was a little easier but it was still hard but it was this year I don't know it was just the fact that they just left and uh, you know I, I've been a, I've been a mess since so what's happening today guys <laughs> I'm going on a road trip. Uh, this is what's happening. I, I'm uh, I'm heading out right now. We're going to Ottawa to go see the trustee, and I'm uh, declaring bankruptcy to uh, save the house so that I can't be evicted um, on November the 19th. That's the that's what I'm going down for to stop that. And then uh, I've got to figure out how to float the boat here uh, for the next nine months uh, while I'm in bankruptcy to uh, to save the duck adventure. And that's where uh, where we're at. So I'm going to do my duck tours right now. I'm running a little bit behind because we had power outage here today. So uh, I've got to scramble. Well, while I'm waiting for the uh, the tub to fill up here, I, I was talking uh, to the uh, homeless shelter. They picked up the ducks yesterday, guys. They're really, really happy. They're excited about cooking them. Um, I'm going to know more about uh, what's going to happen here. I got to talk. I'm actually going to be talking to the hospitality manager, the person who's in charge of cooking the ducks. Who knows? I might be going down. I don't know yet. We'll see what's going on here. Uh, 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 when the time frame is, I, I don't know exactly uh, what their plans are on when, uh, but their ducks are officially uh, in the freezers of the uh, the Good Shepherd uh, Mission in Toronto on Queen Street. But uh, like I said, guys, what an, an, an just a crazy emotional roller coaster ride. I'm, uh, I, I, you know, and things kept happening that kept reminding me, like on Tuesday, on Friday, I actually went in and had some poisoned Chinese food at a buffet. Um, it wasn't poisoned, but I sure felt like it after I ate it. Um, and the, my, my, uh, my fortune cookie even had something about the ducks and, and being, uh, you know, giving to charity and, and how many people are going to benefit by my kindness and generosity. And I, I, I'm in the Chinese restaurant and I crack open the fortune cookie and I read it and then I, I break down in the Chinese restaurant. I had to leave really quick. Um, it's like, it, it just, it's just been non-stop and that's why I haven't been doing any editing. I've been actually staying away from it. Um, I, I can't, uh, I can't do it. I, I just couldn't do it. Actually, I was a basket case. It wasn't until Sunday that I could actually sit down and actually look at a duck video, uh, without breaking down. And then, you know, the thing was I tried doing some on Saturday had a couple of breakdowns and then uh, I was in the living room and I was doing a little bit of editing on the, on the, on the living room computer and Doug, well, he, uh, you know, he'd hear the ducks quacking at the lake, and he could sense I was getting upset. And he came over, and he was, uh, he was crawling on top of me, and uh, you know, it got to the point that if Doug heard quacking on a computer, he was anticipating me having a breakdown, and so I couldn't do anything. I, uh, I actually, guys, I, I asked myself, basically uh, Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, and part of Sunday. The number one question I had, I, I kept asking myself. Why am I doing this to myself and why would I want to do it again? And, uh, you know, and I, I couldn't come up with the answer. The only thing I can come up with is just that, you know, I think it's really cool. I think it's so neat giving the ducks, you know, such a happy life and, uh, and sharing it with, you know, with, with, probably the, with probably the best fans on YouTube. You know, I don't have a big channel, you know, we just hit 20,000 subscribers. But you know what? I think, honestly, I've got the best 
best fans there are. There, there, there's nothing better out there. You know, for what we accomplished this year, just for the amount of money we raised, you know, to do this project, and and you know, I I can't think uh, of anything that comes even remotely close, you know, to what we accomplished for being such a small channel. Um, I, I'm just, uh, I, I couldn't imagine, you know, if this channel had 200,000 subs, what we could pull off. I honestly, uh, I think it would be scary. I think it actually would be, it would be, um, I could see, you know, uh, two, 3,000 ducks and, and helpers and, and making it into a, you know, a real big production if we had 200,000 subs watching the show. But right now we have 20,000 of the best fans there are on YouTube and uh, you know, and you guys know who you are. I can't thank you enough for helping me uh, this year and, and the support and it's, it's mind blowing actually. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still a little bit screwed up. I'm getting over, I'm getting better and, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm hoping that we can do this more. I hope we can get through the winter. I hope we, you know, we can get through this whole bankruptcy crap that I gotta go through to save the farm. And we can do this again next year. That's what I'm hoping. So, tub's almost full. I'm going to uh, hop in the truck and we're going to Ottawa on a road trip to, uh, to end uh, this legal crap that's uh, threatening to take the duck adventure away from all of us. I guess this is what you would call a man and his dog living in the back of a cube van 2.0. I can't believe it, guys. I was so brain dead, I pulled off the wrong exit. Oh. Well, I wonder if I'm going to be lucky enough to get parking in front like I did last time. Well, it looks like I'm going to get parking, guys. Right in front. My appointment was for 2.30, and it's 2.32, so not bad. <laughs> Dougie, you're so good. We're gonna go start a new life, Doug, in the back of a cube van. Hopefully not. Oh, Dougie's gonna warm my seat. You're gonna keep my seat warm there, dog? Hi there. I have an appointment for 2.30 with Beatrice. McDougal. No thanks. Oh, there shouldn't be a wait. I'm late. How's Beatrice? I'm good. How are you? Not bad. All set. How was the transfer of the ducks? It went. It was depressing. Good. Well, I'm here to, uh, I guess, officially go bankrupt. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get to the business at hand here. Awesome. Okay. I'll put that one there. They don't know what's awesome about this, but. <laughs> well, those four documents you just signed are true to the best of your knowledge. Yeah. Nope, nope. Oh, that's, that's yours. Okay, so I got <laughs> carried. You know I, got, I, mean. I got carried away there. Yeah. Okay, so this is an assignment for the general benefit of creditors. What that means is, is this is the official document that lets your creditors know you are bankrupt, and it is just a natural bankruptcy signature there. This page As in there. organic. Yeah. <laughs> Same. It's a, I'm an heirloom organic bankruptcy. It's supposed to be an organic. One for me, one for you, or? For me and one for you, that one, yeah. Okay, I so. put it, oh, I put it in your file. Don't worry, I'm going to give you this. Oh this, oh, this is just for me to read? Yeah, I'll go through what, what that is. So they, yeah. right now, they no longer can take my house? No, they still could right now, because it hasn't been filed. <laughs> Once it gets filed, and very likely I can... I'm going to put time. you on my show for that one, because... <laughs> Hey, talk about us all you want, mention us all you want, that's cool. Okay, so, but officially they can't take the house from now at this point on. No, we're going to file it and okay. they'll be notified that, um, well, as long as you continue to meet your mortgage payments though, we're going to send out a special stay of proceedings letter to have the writs and notify them that you have filed and any of that has to stop. Any okay. attachments, any seizures. Okay. So, this is again... So, officially, safe. my home is safe? It will be, yes. Okay. <laughs> in, in a matter of an hour? In a matter of, yes. There's a few extras. <laughs> Here, I'll just give you those back. Save a you trip. want me to email you? I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. All right, Beatrice. So? You sure you don't want to be in the show? Come on. In per, uh, not in Smile. No, I'm filming you right no. now, actually. You are not I am. Cool. All right, Dougie. They can't take her home anymore. Come on, get back. Oh, what a relief, Doug. 
Are you happy, Doug? Yes, I'm happy too. Well, I'm not happy, but at least we're not going to be homeless. So now we're going to figure out how we can stay, guys. The traffic jam. Rush hour. Oh, man, this is why I hate this city. And this is why I wanted a morning appointment. Unfortunately, they didn't have one, so 3.30. I'm hitting the government rush home. And the warning signs up front, there's something wrong up front. Probably an accident. Let's slow her down a little bit more. It's ironic, they've got a big illuminated sign. Don't follow too closely. And the more room I leave between me and the guy in front of me, the more cars jam in front of me. And we know there's no faster way to get home than to dart into those holes that people leave in front of their vehicles so they don't rear end the guy in front of them. I'm actually shocked that this space in front of me is not being taken up by those cars passing me on the uh, right. Well guys, for a duck man that lives in the middle of the bush, this is brutal. You guys have no idea how good it feels that I'm going home knowing that the sheriff ain't gonna show up and escort me off my own property. And now we just gotta figure out how we save the duck adventure. Okay, I gotta call 911 guys. That guy's got a body in his trunk. It's a shame it's so dark right now, guys. Uh, well, it's getting dark. I, I'm driving some uh, countryside that I never showed you guys before, but I'm going to go pick up the plucker because I've got about, I don't know, about 40 birds I've got to pluck uh, for my own food for the next year. Top on my freezer. But uh, this is uh, a little different countryside. It's really, really flat out here. This is uh, Valley Farm and Country. There's some big farms out in this area. My buddy uh, who has the plucker, his place is uh, more in the bush, not uh, out, in the, out in the open like this. Somebody's out combining the lake, guys. Look at that sky, is that gorgeous? It's too bad we got a combine running in the background. I don't know how good this is going to tell guys, but does that look cool looking moon? I'm using the air cam here, so I don't think it has such a, um, as, as low lux as my big one does. It's got a nice orange tinge to it. Looks awesome. I'm here at my buddy's place picking up the uh, plucker. Yeah, I don't know. I might not even, uh, I can't tell my... I'm looking at the viewfinder guys and it's just a blur so I don't know what I'm picking up but that's what the moon looks like at my buddy's house it looks pretty awesome he's got a much uh, uh, a longer horizon here than I do like I said when I was driving here it's all flat ground around here it's pretty flat terrain farming country that's a pretty awesome looking moon uh oh no, no, I, I can't film you if you're standing behind, Matt. Come I on. See. Well, no, okay, I'll turn yeah, it here. I'll do it this way. Here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, Jake, so go sit with your mom. Jake, get. Go on. This is Matt, my buddy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And his mother, Tony. Hello. Yeah. Hello. How are you being ready? And I have to, I've got the viewfinder guys turned towards Matt because he won't stand uh, there if he can't see himself. <laughs> Aww. Right? Uh, yeah. You want right. to see yourself? You can watch yourself. No, you don't have internet here. So we you don't. Can't, you can't watch, watch at school. You can watch at school, okay? <laughs> what are you going to say to all the people? What are you going to say to the duck fans on YouTube? Do you like Hi. ducks? Hi? No. Boo, boo, boo. You don't like ducks? No, no, no. Hey? Okay? Do you like Donald Duck? Do you like Donald Duck? Huh? Yeah. You like looking at yourself, don't you? <laughs> you know what you need for Christmas? A mirror. <laughs> that would be the best present you could ever get. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.